Why, hi there. Welcome to another edition of Paper Plate Craft and Story Time. Today we're going to be reading a special book about fathers, dedicated to fathers everywhere, and we're going to be making some special crafts to give to our dads for Father's Day. I have a beautiful Father's Day tie that we'll be making that you can wear or you can have your dad wear. I also have this paper plate crown that we'll be making. It says king for a day, although your crown can say whatever you'd like on it. It can be any color that you'd like. And this craft will take two paper plates to make, one for the crown, one for the tie. A pictorial of this craft will be posted on the Friends of the Children's Library of Huntington Beach Facebook page, as well as the library's website at hbpl.org under the Kids Stuff tab. So I do have a Father's Day book for all the dads out there. This is called The Best Father of All, and this book is by Peter Horn. And you can see it has a father and son turtle. So this is the best father of all. It was a lovely autumn day. The leaves of the trees rustled in the cool wind. Sebastian, the little turtle, sat by his father in the grass. I feel so safe when I'm with you, said Sebastian. That's what a father does, said his father. He keeps you safe. What else does a father do? asked Sebastian. So many different types of fathers. Well, a father encourages his children. He chirps at them to get them to try to fly for the very first time. Can you guess what type of father that is? All right, can you guess by looking at the picture? That's a father bird, said Sebastian. What other types of fathers do you think there are? A father who untangles the legs when his children stumble. All right, what do you think that is? It's a father centipede, said Sebastian. So many different types of fathers. A father that teaches his children to spring and bounce in the grass. Who do you think that is? That must be a father rabbit, said Sebastian. A father shows his children how to hop from stock to stock in the cornfield. Why, that's got to be... All right, do you think you know what that is? That's got to be a father grasshopper, said Sebastian. A father explains how to spin webs that glitter would do in the early morning. I bet you know what that is. What kind of father is that? That's a father spider, said Sebastian. So many different types of fathers. A father organizes croaking concerts so all the animals in the pond can hear his children find voices. All right, who do you think that is? That's a father frog, said Sebastian. And if you look up here, it doesn't look like the other animals are enjoying the singing too much. A father sticks berries on his spikes and carries them to his children when they are hungry from playing and rolling about. All right. Let's see if you know what kind of animal that is. It's not a porcupine, but it's a baby hedgehog and his dad. So those are hedgehogs. Now this one's difficult, said the father. A father who puts his children to sleep in the middle of the day. He teaches them to hang by their feet. All right, what type of father is that? I think you all know. It's a father bat, said Sebastian. Well done, said father. Can you guess which father flies with his children making wonderful loops of light? All right. And what kind of father does that? It's a father firefly, said Sebastian. A father plays hide and seek with his son and slides with him down the dewy wet grass. A father helps his son flip over back on his legs when he's stuck upside down in his shell. A father who enjoys a bite of ripe, ripe strawberries with his son. A father who hunts for heaps of leaves in the autumn and takes his son deep into them. They snuggle up together so they don't freeze all winter long. 
because you know turtles hibernate. What kind of bother is that? I know, says Sebastian. That father is you, the very best father of all. And that is the story of the best father of all, dedicated to all fathers out there everywhere. And so, in honor of all our dads, we're going to be making some special Father's Day crowns and ties. As I said, this craft does take two plates. So, the first plate is going to become the tie. And the first thing we want to do with our plate is we are going to cut the rim right here, and then we're going to cut out the circle right here. The circle part is what becomes the tie. Now, if you'd rather make your tie out of construction paper, you can. I decided that I didn't want to waste my paper plate, so I'm going to make the tie out of the middle of my paper plate. So this becomes your collar. This is what you can wear around your neck. You can color it, or you can just leave it plain white. Now, for the tie, it's probably easier if you trace out a tie shape before you try to cut it. I'm going to fold mine in half. And I am going to attempt to cut it freehand. All right. And I want to make sure that there's a corner that is pointed at the bottom because ties are pointed at the bottom. And they kind of go in and then out like this. All right. So let's see how my tie turned out. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. This is, this is my tie. And if you say, well, you know what? It, the, it's not very pointed at the bottom. You can always just make it more pointed like this so it has a nice point at the bottom like a regular tie all right there we go so there's our tie now I wanted to add shirt collars to mine and I had some buttons so I put buttons on it so this is what I did to make my shirt collars as I cut with the rest of my plate here I cut two triangles and those became my shirt collars and just kind of shape them out so they're triangles and that's your little shirt collar so you decorate your tie, you can staple or glue your tie, you take your shirt collar, you staple or glue your shirt collar, and your finished product looks like this. So I always recommend, as I said, coloring it and then uh, stapling it or gluing it. Uh, and then at the very end, I did wait till this was all done before I glued my buttons on there. I did have some spare buttons. So this is my beautiful tie that we can wear for Father's Day. Now this is the crown. Now for the crown, we're gonna take one paper plate. And this one, I actually did draw the lines on here. I folded it in half and I wanna cut it into triangles. And to make sure I did it correctly, I drew lines on here to help me. Can you see how I did that? So that's what you're going to need to do to help cut out to make sure you're cutting it out correctly. We're also going to be cutting here as well. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this is how we make our crown. So we're going to start, we fold it, we're going to cut, not all the way, we just are cutting, see, this is all you want to cut, you don't want to cut all the way, because this becomes the rim of your hat, or your crown. So we're cutting them in the middle, we cut here, and remember we want to cut, open up your plate a little bit, and we're going to cut this fold right here, see how we're folding the fold right here? it there looks like this I'm gonna cut it over here this becomes your crown now you can paint if you have paint you can paint it if you have sequins you can put sequins you can put all sorts of stuff to decorate your crown and then when you're done you're gonna fold these upwards because this is the top part of your crown fold it upwards And you can see, voila, your crown. And here it is. You know, I have lots of spare buttons. So I use buttons because I didn't have any sequins. But if you had sequins, you had sweet sequins. I use gold and yellow crown to make it look like gold. And, of course, I put king for a day on there so I could have my special Father's Day crown in honor of Father's Day. And as I said, you can get really creative if you want to. You can paint it. You can put glitter on it. You can put sequins on it. You can make it as fancy as you like. So now you have your Father's Day tie and your Father's Day crown. 
And that is our story time today. Let's get our clapping hands ready. Do you have your clapping hands ready? Here we go. Now it's time for us to go. It's time for us to say goodbye. But it won't be long, my friends, until we meet again. So long, farewell, goodbye. Well, thank you for enjoying story time today. We do have a reading program going on at hbpl.beanstack.com. Make sure to check it out and register for the program. We have lots of activities this summer. We're also going to be having a August reading raffle. Same place, hbpl.beanstack.com. Register for that as well. Keep reading, keep doing special activities and having fun. Stay happy. Stay healthy, stay safe. This is Miss Barbara signing off.